Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCVR Labs. For more information and to download the source uh, source code of this video, you can visit us at www.jcvrolabs.org. We also provide online training uh, based on latest technologies like MATLAB, LabVIEW, Arduino, Raspberry Pi, IoT, and embedded systems. We also provide freelance solutions for freelance based projects and we also provide uh, help in technical assignments for students so if you have any such requirement then you can mail us at uh, jcbrolabs at gmail.com so in this video we will learn how to generate a frequency shift king in python so let's first have a little brief intro uh, about frequency shift king so frequency shift king is a digital modulation scheme right so it is a part of a uh, digital modulation scheme now what is digital modulation scheme as we know the digital data is represented by ones and zeros so the digital data is like this either one zero and if we say one 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 zero and so on okay, so let's put a marker there so that it represents this marker represents the one bit of data okay so it is representing one zero one zero one one zero so if we want to transmit this digital data over the channel so we can't transmit directly like 5 volt 0 5 volt or 0 because uh, uh, channel log is analog in nature and it expects uh, analog signal to be transmitted over the channel like uh, some analog frequency so in our last video we talked about uh, one modulation scheme that is amplitude shift king in which amplitude of the carrier wave was changing in accordance with the uh, digital bits that means when one was there message was transmitted when zero was there message was not transmitting so that was kind of an on off modulation scheme now in case of uh, frequency shift king which we will be discussing today uh, concept is uh, very easy when one is there we will transmit a frequency of let's say frequency one we will transmit a signal with frequency one and if we are transmitting zero we will transmitting a uh, signal with frequency two so generally we transmit sinusoidal signal so when one is there we will transmit a sinusoidal signal of frequency 1 and if we encounter 0 we will transmit a sinusoidal signal with a different frequency same waveform so it will be like uh, if we have let's say this is 1 and then let's say this is a different signal frequency then we have 1 and then we have different frequency okay let's then we have 1 and then we have diffraction so this is how we transmit uh, or we generate ASK or we do a uh, digital model scheme, scheme so in this video we will learn how to simulate this one now prior to simulation there are several key factors which you should be known uh, and which are related to digital data so when we say digital data so it is not like we are only having one zero one zero one zero a single number because we are dealing with the sampling frequency so that means we have uh, number of samples in one and number of samples in zero only then we can say okay this is one for this duration so it is represented by uh, a symbol duration right now based on the symbol duration we will define a sampling frequency now suppose symbol duration is one second and the number of sample present in the signal will depend like uh, how many samples we are transmitting as a one and that depends on the sampling frequency fs so suppose fs equals to one kilohertz and if we say we are having a high symbol duration that means let's say symbol duration is uh, your 0 0.1 second right only then in one second we will be able to transmit 10, ten symbols uh, 10 ones and zeros uh, so that is why if we want to make a higher transmission rate this symbol duration should be as low as possible 
but that limits uh, that is limited by this sampling frequency because if sampling frequency is like one kilohertz then there is a limitation of the symbol duration okay so symbol duration if symbol duration is 0.1 so the number of samples in one symbol will be one uh, and one second there will thousand samples so in 0.1 second uh, there will be hundred samples will be there right so we will be generating uh, 100 samples and one symbol duration okay so we can also define the entire length of the signal let's say two second or one second duration so if it is a two second duration so number of symbols will be 20 if it is one second duration number of symbols will be 10 so these are the parameters which will be required to generate this carrier wave as well as to generate this digital signal waveform okay so with this prior information about digital signal and uh, digital signal waveform and symbol length now we'll move uh, to python to write the code for this remember we are using the anaconda distribution for python and we are using python 3 uh, specifically python 3.7 version so if you are using 2.7 so some of the commands may not work into it okay so let's go to spider now within this python we are using this spider to write the code and now there are several other tools uh, modules are there like matplotlib library and numpy library in order to uh, uh, show the graphs and arrays okay so now let's write the code so first task is to save this code so let's save it okay we'll save this file on desktop mm, it is fsk right, video okay now first we will import matplotlib matplotlib uh, dot pi plot and live dot pi plot as plt and then we need to import numpy as np and then okay. and then we will from math import pi which is from Okay, this file not saved. Oh. FSK dot okay. And then uh, we have created a custom function in order to generate the binary signal. So that function has to be imported here. So right now we have saved that particular function somewhere else. So let's copy that function here only. This is the function. So let's place it on desktop. Okay, now import generate binary as GB. Okay, first we will close all the open window. Close all. Okay. Now let's run it. Whether we are getting okay, matplotlib dot pi plot. Yeah. Now first task we will do. We will try to generate the binary signal okay so for that we will make sampling frequency let's say sampling frequency is 1000 kilohertz and then we will make a total time duration of the signal to be generated as let's say two second and then uh, we will have some carrier wave or carrier frequency let's say we are using a 100 hertz carrier frequency
and then we will make a time axis so let's make it to capital T total time duration and this is the time axis so np dot arrange uh, between 0 to t at a difference of 1 by fs so it creates time axis now we will try to generate binary signal first or binary waveform if you want to go through it like how to generate this binary waveform signal then we have created a, a one more video how to generate a binary signal or random binary signal so that can be useful in order to generate or in order to simulate this digital data okay so for that we need symbol duration first so let's say symbol duration we are taking 0 0.1 seconds so in two seconds there will be total 20 symbols will be there now symbol length will be as we just discussed it will be uh, <coughs> it will be symbol duration into fs like so sim duration into f of s and because this number could be a non integer so we will convert into integer value okay duration of the symbol and then we will generate a uh, symbols number of symbols to be generated which we can okay number of symbol so it will be if we can divide uh, this total length right total time length divided by symbol length then we can have a number which will be represented by number of symbols right that means if we divide total time axis divided by uh, symbol duration then number of symbols will get a number okay so in order to do that uh, we have uh, like first np dot size of t and it is divided by the symbol length right but this number could be non integer or it could be a fractional number so we will make it to floor np dot floor and then generally it becomes a floating point number so we'll convert it into an integer okay. so it is number of symbols in binary signal now we will call our function and as I am well symbol equals to integer uh, a binary signal sorry okay uh, bind underscore signal equals to we have GB so GB dot binary there is a function in it and that is number symbol number of symbols we need to pass and then we need to pass the symbol length so let's first run this code and see okay it's generated now let's plot it uh, plt dot plot binary underscore signal and then make it a title plt dot title random binary waveform or signal plt dot x level as time in seconds and then plt dot y level as amplitude and let's run it yeah okay so this is a random binary signal which we have generated and 20 signals are there okay we want to make a subplot to out of it so plt dot subplot <coughs> it will be one row and two column and one to one so let's say okay we need two rows and one column two one Now in next we will create a normal signal. Now we will generate FSK. 
So generating uh, FSK is very simple. Mm, just think about uh, uh, have a look from this signal carefully. Now when one is trans when is there, we will generate a signal frequency of let's say F1 and if F2 is there we will generate a signal frequency or something else. So we can write in a statement only because we have signal here. Okay, so let's generate a signal or a carrier wave. We can say fsk is equals to np dot sign. It is true into pi into. If we have fc plus, okay, instead of fc plus, so we can have. Uh, we can have a new frequency that is fc plus um, number of symbol because that is uh, having a one so if we multiply fc into binary signal divided by two now if you think about this statement carefully when binary signal is one it is fc and by two that is 50 hertz so fc is 100 so when uh, signal frequency of uh, 1 is being transmitted 150 hertz signal is being transmitted so instead of plus we can have minus so we are transmitting a lower frequency uh, for okay, let's have plus so we are transmitting higher frequency that means 150 hertz for symbol 1 and 100 hertz for symbol 0 because fc is 100 so let's say let's put it 50 so now we will generate a signal with f into t okay now let's plt dot subplot uh, again two one two and then plt dot plot fsk or t comma we should write t comma fsk and similarly we can write here t comma binary signal and then plt dot title Mm -hmm. FSK frequency shift king signal and then we have plt.x label as time and then plt.y label as an amplitude and then we have plt dot tight layout otherwise this subplot will overlap each other. So if you have gone through our previous video, you will understand why we are writing this tight layout. Okay, now let's see it. Yeah. So when one is there, high frequency, zero is there, lower frequency. Okay. And let's uh, have a overlap okay so let's make a hold on command as well so you can visualize it more clearly hold on oh we can write plt dot plot t comma binary signal it will automatically check with another color yeah so one zero one zero one zero so when one is there higher frequency zero is there lower frequency can time right so this is how we can generate fsk and uh, this signal is of duration of two seconds so total 20 sim uh, si uh, symbols are being transmitted or we can say 20 bits of data has been transmitted in two seconds of duration okay so this is how you can simulate uh, you can simulate the signal in or fsk signal in python so if you have any doubt or if you have any other suggestion or query then you can let us know by commenting below this video and further please subscribe to this video uh, uh, in order to stay updated with the latest uploads so that's it for this video and once again uh, if you have any other requirement any help if you need any help uh, related to your assignments or related if you want to do some freelance based project then you can contact us at through www.jcbrolabs.org okay so that's it for this video thank you